Okay, kinetic energy. Here we go. This is um, usually energy that's in motion. So an object with a mass and a velocity will have the ability to transfer a certain amount of energy to whatever it hits. And so what we'll do is we'll take a cannonball. So here's our, our cannonball. It's going to be flying through the air and we're going to have it smash into a, the wall of a castle. So there's the big drawbridge and I don't even know, that's good enough for a castle for me. Let's say that we want to calculate the amount of kinetic energy. We need to know the mass of the cannonball. Let's say it's 14 kilograms and we need to know how fast it's going. Let's say that it's going 33 meters per second. Okay, so our kinetic energy then is going to end up being, actually I need this two inside that bracket to be squaring the 33. And when I plug this all in, I end up getting 7,777 joules. That's weird. Okay, so now this cannonball is able to transfer this much energy to the wall when it hits. So what we can do is we can do another calculation and say, well, when this hits the wall, if the wall gives way a certain distance, how much force did this thing apply to that? Or I can say, if it applies this much force when it hits, how much of the wall gives away? Let's, uh, let's take this and let's just write down that this is the energy that is able to do work. Okay, so that's what that 7,777 joules is able to do. So that means then that my kinetic energy is essentially work. And in this case then, 7,777 joules is going to be my force times distance. So now I've got to figure out wh which one of those two do I want. Let me, th I'm going to say that I want to calculate my force, the average force applied to this wall if the wall gives way 25 meters. Okay, so this moves this 25 meters. Okay, so I'm going to just solve this thing out. I'm going to get 7,777 divided by 25. Okay, solve that all out. And that tells me that the average force this cannonball will apply, or will be able to apply, is seven, or 311 newtons. So that is kinetic energy, or energy in motion, or emotional energy, whatever you like to call it.